I feel in, in some way that the universe has been preparing me for this my, my whole life. Going into the Navy as a very young officer turned me into an environmentalist. I boarded ships smuggling oil out of Iraq against UN sanctions, and that gave me a real appreciation for the geopolitical dynamics of, of oil, and I got to see the impact of humanity on our oceans. My name is Peter Majeranowski, and I am the CEO of CERC. Roughly one garbage truck per second is going to landfill full of clothing around the world. We're producing over 100 million tons of new clothing every year. The impact of this industry on the planet is massive. It's roughly 8 to 10 percent of annual greenhouse gas emission. That's more than aviation and marine combined. Less than 1 percent of clothing today is recycled back into clothing. And the main challenge is because of polycotton blends synthetics, plastics that are purposely engineered and blended with cotton. It's very difficult to recycle. You also have problems with water usage for growing cotton, for dyeing clothing, the pollution that goes into waterways from plastics, from dyes. We need a solution to get it back into circulation so we can stop extracting natural resources from nature. Clothing is a very personal thing. It's how you express yourself. It's the front cover of your, your book. And so if you're wearing clothing and it doesn't match your values, that's a problem. I'm the CEO of Cirque. We're aiming to solve the massive waste issue that clothing and fashion and textiles is generating today. Cirque's developed a solution that can recycle textiles. Specifically, we can reverse engineer them to their building blocks so they can be remade into new clothing over and over. Cirque can take that mountain of material that's currently going to landfill or incineration and run it through our process. We take that clothing material, we add water, temperature, pressure, some responsible chemistry, and then we essentially liquefy the polyester. And when we do that, we're able to separate it from the cotton. So now we have a liquid polyester stream and the cotton stream. The cotton stream, we clean up and regenerate into new yarns. And then from the liquid, we're able to extract and purify those building blocks that traditionally come from oil and gas, and then remake it back into new polyesters. So it can go right back into the beginning of the supply chain and we can keep using that material over and over so we can stop the extraction and we can stop the waste being burned or buried. We've recycled over 100 tons of waste textiles that was going to the landfill, and that saves 130,000 kilograms of CO2 that would have gone to the atmosphere. By our very nature, we will always have an impact on this planet but it's up to us to change our wasteful practices into positive gains for life on Earth. It's not too late, but we urgently need many more solutions like these if we are to clean up our act and build a waste-free world. The linear way of doing things is not necessary anymore. There's a circular solution that is better that needs to be implemented now for a waste-free world. We need new systems in place and new technology so that we can have a waste-free world and a much safer planet. <laughs>